been a while. I just wanted to do this quick intro to let you all know that there is not going to be a webcam in this video. My OBS crashed. Luckily, I have the gameplay, but I unfortunately don't have the webcam. This happened in the first time I tried to do this series as well, but I had a little bit of a shorter episode this time around for the first episode, and I don't think it's that you know important to have. Obviously, I'll have it for later episodes. Just wanted to do a quick pop in and say sorry about that. Enjoy the video and have a good one. Hello, folks. I'm going to teach some people how to play PPO. Uh, it's Pokemon Planet, um, for those who don't know. So first, I'll just show you how to create an account. Um, so basically, you just want to hit play now. And on the right side, you'll see register now for free. So you'll want to do your username, email, and password. Um, username, three to five characters. Has to be something that starts with the letter. And there's no special characters that are allowed. So let's say you want to do the name gatorade 423 that would work gatorade underscore 423 or gatorade space 423 would not work and obviously you need an, a valid email um, to do this and then for password um, you just want to make it something that's not as crackable as something else uh, so you wouldn't want to do password 123 you'd want to do something where you know has a capital letter somewhere about um has numbers in it uh, maybe a special character as well that just helps with it to be safe and secure um, and then I'll log into my account show you just the general login screen and we can go from there I've got logged in now so this is the general screen uh, as you can see it says hi GameCube up here that's the ch name I chose for this playthrough um, if you want to you can browse these uh, just forum pages if you wanted to there's things like announcements and information where that'll show like patch notes moderators stuff like that of the game um, there's just the general information clan discussion where you can see clans to join tips and guides that'll be the most useful to everybody uh, trading you can sometimes go here I would recommend joining the discord or using just trade chat in game um, PvP I wouldn't recommend going here either you can use the discord for that um, or you know just talking with players in game usually works better uh, I don't use the forums too much, that's why I say that. Maybe they are more useful than I know. Um, and then obviously there's just general discussion or introductions and stuff like that. But I won't go into that further because I don't actually use it myself. Um, so now I'll click play now. Um, and that'll bring us into the game. And I will come back once we're at the screen. And we're here at the character creation screen. As you can see, you can choose male or female. Um, and then you can choose the skin tone of your preference. So I'm going to be a male and I'm going to choose this skin tone. Um, and then on the net you can spin your character if you want to to see how it looks but that's more useful in the next pages so I will also choose blue for my hair color you can use this slider if you want to um, I will to make my hair as blue as possible and then for hairstyle I believe there's one I'm gonna choose Professor Oak um, but there's loads of different hairstyles I just like the Professor Oak one I on my main account I have Mr. Fuji um, just because it looked the funniest to me. Um, so just choose what you want. Uh, it's not something that really matters too much. You do get an appearance reset once you go into the game, but I would recommend making your character how you'd want to look now so that you don't have to use that one freebie. Um, you can use that freebie later. I will also use uh, make I will also make my eyes blue here. Um, so that's just something that I, I like the color blue. So I'm going to make everything blue. You guys can pick your poison um, At the end of the day, it's whatever you want to make it and I will make it angry since I am always mad And I believe goatee 2 is the one that I will choose Since there isn't really a facial hair that looks like mine. Maybe it'll get added in the future. Who knows? Um, and then we'll just make this t-shirt blue uh, but I won't do uh, t-shirt I'll do long sleeve and design for pants I will do uh, baggy and then I'll choose blue as well and once you're done you just click finish are you done customizing your trainer if you click yes there's no going back so make sure it is how you want it to be and I will come back to us here once we are in the game and I'll show us how to get our starter and things like that all right and we are in the game um, but first things first i would recommend going down to this little cog wheel here and disabling battle music allowing swearing in private chats um it's just if somebody does a swear word in your private chat it will just say swearing is not allowed so you won't be able to see it so i just recommend turning it on unless you're you know 10 years old and you shouldn't be seeing those things but mostly everybody should be able to 
to deal with swearing in uh, private chats. Obviously, you can't swear in public, but in the public chat, but it's one of those where just turn it on if you can. Um, and then what I will do is say, turn the music volume down to zero, uh, unless you like it. But I personally do not like it. I'd rather have some other music going on, but obviously if you enjoy it, keep it how you'd want it. And then I turn my max drawn players to unlimited because my computer can handle it. If your computer can't handle any players on the screen, you can also do zero or none, or you could do anything in between. It goes by increments of 50. So the next thing I will do is I will just take us on down to Professor Oak's place. So I'll show that since it's not too in depth. You can talk to the people in game, but there's no need. Like mom, she just gives you a prompt. It's not like any of these people actually give you any items. Um, and if they do, I will show you. But for the most part, you just need to go down here um, and talk to Professor Oak. And yeah, that's basically it. There's nothing that I really want to talk about other than that. I will show what we call the in-game guide, but I'll show that once we choose our uh, starter here. So you can talk to Professor Oak, but there's nothing really to it. Uh, it's just a lot of text. You just walk here though and just click on whatever starter you want. Um, it's all the way up to Gen 6. And then you can choose Pikachu or Eevee as well. So you can pick any of the starters. I will pick Bulbasaur. Um, the reason for that is the beginning of the game is a lot easier if you pick Bulbasaur. And then you won't need your starter later. You'll be using other Pokemon that you'll just get. Because most of these starters aren't very useful. If I'm being honest, it's just something to have early game. So I just recommend picking Bulbasaur, but you can choose whatever you'd like. So the next thing I'd want to talk about, it's the guide. You can type slash guide in game, and that will just pull it up in forms. The guide you can look at. This is the most in-depth experience that you can have. Uh, it says like, if you have this issue, go here, stuff like that. How to enable two-factor authentication. I would recommend that, but that is up to you if you want to do that at the end of the day. There are clips of people teleporting and killing legends. Um, I will have a, a little bit of a, a funny clip later um, showing how to sync a Pokemon. But uh, if you watch the streams, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, if you ever get confused and, you know, the video doesn't show you exactly what you needed, you can go down here, click Kanto, click spoilers and, you know, see everything in depth. But it's just not me talking to you. It's just you reading. So if you're more of like a verbal person, you like to hear it rather than uh, kind of read it, then that's kind of what this is for. Um, and obviously you can use control F, which is control find on that. And you can type in what you need. Um, sometimes it won't show it because it might be in a spoiler. So you need to know where to find it and then click that spoiler. But for the most part that uh, control find should be pretty useful for the guide. And I would recommend against using the wiki for this game. It hasn't been updated in years. I have never used it for the four years I've been playing this game. Uh, so that's just something that learn to navigate the guide. Don't use the wiki. It's outdated. It's just bad. Um, and also, I'll just come back once we're going to the route one. There's now a reason to show me going up to route one. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'll just cut once we get up there. So... You all right so we've made it to route one um i'll show you what you basically need to do here uh you do walk at the beginning of the game the most important item early on is a bike um if you do have money you can obviously spend money to get a mount but i don't advise it for that i'd advise just playing the game freely but obviously if you've got the spare money to do that you can um it's just something where you don't need to spend money on this game to play it it's just something if you've got the spare cash you can um, but yeah i'd recommend killing everything you can here and also not catching the pidgey um, some people might say it for uh, the fourth gym but there's a spot right before the fourth gym where you can actually catch a pidgeotto um, that's just more useful it's a higher level so you won't have to level it up beforehand so that's why i just don't recommend getting it now um, and obviously an EXP share is going to be useful in the future as well. But I would say a bike is definitely more useful than an EXP share early on. So just focus on trying to get that bike. Um, and I'll show you everything else in between. Um, but in this episode, I'm just going to be doing the first gym. So it's going to be pretty basic. If there's more stuff, 
that I figure out, you know, people put in the comments like, hey, why didn't you talk about this? I'll talk about it in future episodes just so people can know. Um, but yeah, it's just getting up to this first area. Uh, it's Viridian City. Um, and I'll kind of just show you the main buildings you want to see in every city. So the Pokey Center, if you walk in it, it heals you right away. So you don't have to talk to Nurse Joy. That's a plus. And then also the Pokey Mart. You can buy, uh, buy stuff from the NPC in here. But there is a global marketplace as well. So if you go to vendor items, this is from the NPC. But if you go to the global marketplace, you can buy things. Let's say an old pickaxe. Because I will recommend that you do buy it from here. The old pickaxe rather than um, from the vendor. Because it is cheaper. See, this is 2.5k. Whereas it's 5k from the vendor. Um, but there's, you know, it's up to you if you want to do it that way. Or if it's more convenient for you to buy it from the vendor. Or a thing like a bike. Uh right now those are 60k but a bike voucher like that's 30k right now so if you bought one of those uh it's 20k less um i'll actually try to push for that hopefully but it's just one of those where if you don't get enough money in time then you don't get enough money in time but i always recommend to buy it from there rather than the vendor because people will run out of a use for a bike they're like yeah i got a mount let me sell a bike and then you can buy it from there it's more convenient to me but some people may say otherwise. Um, so yeah, I'll just cut it here. Cut once we get into the forest um, and then show you kind of the strategy to get out of there. It's not too in depth. Uh, show you what types of encounters can be in places, stuff like that. So stay tuned, I'll see you in a bit. And we've made it to the forest. Um, so if you do slash Pokemon on any route where there are encounters, you can see the Pokemon types. So here we've got Caterpie, Weedle, Kakuna, Metapod, Beedrill, Butterfree, very rare is Pichu and extremely rare is Pinsir Scyther. If you do want to know the encounter rates on things, that is in the guide. So if you do slash guide like we showed before, control F encounter rates, open this up. You can see, you know, what types of stuff you can get from grinding. Uh, grinding. So since I am base rates, no GM or extra boost, to get an uncommon, it's a 13% chance to get a rare. I have a 1 in 60 chance. To get a very rare, I have a 1 in 600 chance. And then a very rare is 1 in 5,000. So I won't find an ER, most likely. I could find a very rare, um, but that's not going to happen, most likely. The best chance is that if I might find a rare while going through here. But still, even then, it's <laughs> probably unlikely. Um, but I'll just kind of speed up grind through here. I won't have my webcam on for this. I'll just come back if there are any tips that I want to tell you, but just wanted to introduce the, the forest to you guys. So I'll see you all once we get to the end. And that the reason I'm going to say that is because there is a guy you can talk to, but there's no real reason for you to talk to him right now. He doesn't have the quest. So <laughs> I'll see you all in a bit. I guess something that I did forget to add um, is you should get leech seed before fighting these bug catchers. Um, I will show this encounter just because it does show why you get leech seed before. Um, it's for these things that harden. It'll make the battles a lot quicker for you so you won't have to suffer through it. But I guess I'll show you why we do that here because he's got two Kakunas and a Weedle. So if you click leech seed, hit him with that, uh, you'll just be able to dwindle him down while also using that. Uh, that tackle so it's just very beneficial to do that rather than just suffering through spamming tackle and getting like two damage off so i just wanted to come back and say that you'll most likely use leech seed against every trainer here because it is very useful um but yeah i'll just come back once we get to the end apologies for not saying that earlier
this is the guy I was going to talk to um, to get a quest, but obviously, since it's Unity, we're pretty early on. There isn't a quest. Maybe in the future there is, um, but as of now, there is not. So I always just check once you are starting to see if he has that quest. It is pretty useful for early game, but as you can see, he doesn't have it. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about is just making your screen go full screen in game. You can just click this little blue button in the bottom right with the arrows. It'll make your screen full. Um, it'll get rid of the, like the, the search bar stuff like that. So it just looks more clean. I forgot to do it early on in the recording. So I apologize. I was actually planning to do that. Um, so yeah, I'll make sure that's on for the future, but now I'll just head to the, the gym. I'll just speed up my way there. In later episodes, I might just not show like the in-between stuff, but since it is early, I'm just going to show it. Um, the reason I say that is because later on, there's going to be a lot of grinding. So I might just make episodes, you know, that aren't the actual episode. That's just like, hey, this is my grind. This is like the, the behind the scenes <laughs> grinding so that people can watch that if they want. It it'll will be sped up. It just won't be as sped up as, you know, like a four times or, a you know, eight times. It'll just be kind of like a one and a half or two times just to make sure the video isn't forever long. Um, but this is just how you get to the gym. I didn't cut, so I lied. Um, but yeah, you just go in here with your Bulbasaur. We're a level 11. We'll be totally fine for this. Um, even though they are level 10s, we're super effective. So, yeah, just use your vine whip get through it um maybe after this trainer we'll go to the, the the pc but i'll come back once we're at brock made it to Brock I accidentally hit spacebar on him so what you'll just want to do is uh, go into the battle here and just basically follow what I do it's pretty self-explanatory it's just kind of what we did before just spam vine whip and kill um, it used roar but since I only have one poke it doesn't do anything um, this might be where it causes you an issue but even then with this like he's gonna rage and get some more boost but You'll be able to kill him before he kills you as you can see i almost died but i did kill there if you want to you can get up to a higher level before you battle it but sometimes it is better to be lucky than good um and we'll see if i keep this in but before uh we got to the end of the forest my recording did crash so i might not have a webcam for the beginning so i apologize for that i was actually planning to um, but we'll see if this actually makes it in or not. All right. And this is going to mark the end of the first episode. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. This is just the walkthrough for the, to get to the first gym and beat it. It was pretty quick. Um, if you have any questions, always just leave it in the comments. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Take care and have a good one.